Natural Acne Remedies for Immediate Benefits Hello friends, acne and pimples are the most common skin problem in the world. It is estimated that up to 85% of young adults may suffer from it at least once in their lives. There are many medical and pharmacological treatments that can help you solve this problem. Unfortunately, however, they often have unwanted side effects such as dryness or skin irritation. Let's look together in this video at the most common causes of acne and pimples and 13 effective natural remedies to cure it naturally. If you find the video you watch useful, we invite you to subscribe to our channel and support us with a donation. Your help is precious to us and will allow us to continue producing quality content for you. You can do it here below, through the appropriate buttons, subscribe, and thanks. The first question we need to answer is, what are the causes of acne? The reason you get acne is that at the level of the skin pores, there is an excess of sebum and dead cells. Inside each pore, there is a sebaceous gland that can produce sebum. If this sebum is produced in excess, bacteria can develop, which then create inflammation. The bacterium found in acne is the P. acnes bacterium. White blood cells in your immune system within your body fight the bacterium to prevent it from continuing to proliferate. However, this creates inflammation, whiteheads, blackheads, and scars. Many factors can contribute to acne, including genetic causes, stress, which is increasingly common among people, infections, and hormonal changes, especially during puberty when a person most commonly suffers from advanced acne. And finally, certainly encompassing most of the things listed above, is diet. Diet is directly linked to hormone production, the risk of infections, increased stress, and through epigenetics, it can promote or inhibit the development of particular genes within your cells. Understanding the causes, let's see what natural remedies you can apply, starting with topical remedies that have an anti-inflammatory and antibacterial effect, and then delving deeper to address the root causes and cure the problem at its source, which is a hormonal imbalance. The first natural remedy you can use is apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar, especially the homemade, natural kind, contains numerous acids that can combat inflammation and bacterial proliferation. Citric acid, succinic acid, and lactic acid are all very effective in lowering inflammation and accelerating the repair process of scars after the bacterium has taken over. In practical terms, what you can do is take 1 teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and dilute it with 3 teaspoons of water. Cleanse your face and then apply it with a cotton swab to the affected area. Leave it on for about 5-20 seconds and then rinse. You can use this application one or two times a day. Keep in mind, though, that apple cider vinegar can sometimes be slightly aggressive on the skin, so if you have particularly delicate skin, dilute it a bit more. The second natural tip for combating acne and pimples is to take a zinc supplement. Zinc, which has been particularly studied in relation to acne, has been shown in numerous studies to be lower in those who suffer from acne compared to those who do not. Additionally, zinc supplementation can help reduce the symptoms and consequences of this infection. Zinc is an essential mineral for your health. It is involved in cell growth, hormone production, metabolism regulation, and immune function enhancement. For this reason, supplementing with zinc can be absolutely essential if you already suffer from acne. In terms of quantity, studies suggest about 30-45 micrograms of elemental zinc per day. The third natural topical remedy is to apply a solution of honey and cinnamon. Both honey and cinnamon have two exceptional properties against acne. They lower inflammation and combat the acne bacterium. Therefore, a local application can be effective in reducing inflammation following the infection or even in preventing the infection. To make a cinnamon mask, take two portions of honey and mix them with one portion of cinnamon. Apply it to the area for 10-15 minutes and then rinse. You can use this application up to one time a day. The fourth remedy for combating acne and pimples is tea tree oil, also known as melaleuca oil, because it comes from the melaleuca plant in North America. This oil, which is normally found in essential oil bottles, is extremely effective because it also has anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties. Therefore, applying it locally can certainly be effective in combating the proliferation of this bacterium. In particular, these natural antibacterial alternatives are indicated when the alternative is to take an antibiotic drug. 
The reason is that if the treatment is prolonged for too long, the bacteria that form acne could become antibiotic resistant and therefore be even more difficult to eradicate. For this reason, using natural alternatives like tea tree oil can be a good solution for curing acne. How to use it? Be careful, tea tree oil is very potent, so you need to dilute it a lot. You can dilute it in water, one part oil with nine parts water, or you can dilute it in coconut oil, always one part tea tree oil with one part coconut oil. Mix everything together, dip a cotton swab, and apply it to the area of interest. The fifth natural remedy I recommend for curing acne, and here we are already moving from topical aspects to general aspects, is matcha green tea. Matcha green tea is a true wonder for health because it is rich in polyphenols, antioxidants, and anti-inflammatories. You can apply it to acne both locally and especially through extracts by drinking it every day. Studies show that those who drink matcha green tea every day have a reduction in acne levels on the face, chin, and nose. This is why you can also use it both by applying it locally for its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects and generally by drinking it every day, because what you drink then has benefits on the skin as well. If you are interested in learning more about all the benefits of matcha tea and why you should start drinking it every day, click here because I made a specific video where I demonstrate how useful it is to drink it every day. The sixth application you can use for acne and pimples is witch hazel, a very powerful North American plant because it has anti-inflammatory and antibacterial effects. The reason is that it is rich in tannins, and thanks to these particular polyphenols, it is also used locally to combat acne and pimples. In this case, if you want to use witch hazel, use it like a real tea. First, boil it in water, let it rest, and once the tea has cooled, use that compound to apply it with a cotton swab directly to the skin where you are interested. The seventh useful treatment for acne is to hydrate your skin with aloe vera. Aloe vera contains salicylic acid and sulfur, which are already used effectively in pharmaceuticals for acne. In this way, by applying aloe vera directly, you can use it naturally and effectively. On the one hand, you can already find creams because aloe vera has been known for years to be effective for burns or as an after-sun cream or simply to apply after an insect bite, precisely because it contains salicylic acid, which has a powerful anti-inflammatory effect, thus reducing the consequences of acne and infection and lowering inflammation levels. You can directly buy aloe vera gels or creams, but what I recommend is also to take a jar to drink every day, precisely because aloe vera is not only useful for the skin but for your entire body due to its positive effects in lowering inflammation, normalizing insulin levels, and having beneficial effects on the liver. If you are interested in learning more about all the other benefits that drinking aloe vera every day can bring you, click here because I made a video where I explain how useful this plant is for our health. The eighth effective remedy against acne and pimples is fish oil, an omega-3 supplement. Today, it is known that the Western diet is extremely unbalanced in terms of omegas, fatty acids. On the one hand, there are too many omega-6s and too few omega-3s. Therefore, being able to supplement with a supplement but especially also at the dietary level and increasing our omega-3 level can certainly help you. This imbalance is precisely the basis of inflammation, systemic inflammation that does not affect just one part of your body but your entire organism. And if there is a component, a structure, an organ that is the first to suffer from a nutritional deficiency, it is precisely the skin. Because it is the most distal organ, because it is the least important organ in the hierarchy of your organs, when you have a slight omega-3 deficiency or when you have a dietary imbalance, the first to suffer is your skin. Therefore, supplementing with omega-3 can be very useful for you to lower inflammation and therefore the consequences of acne. The ninth tip, the ninth natural remedy against acne, is exfoliation. Because one of the causes is precisely the stagnation of dead cells in the area that then become infected and go on to feed this bacterium, which then brings about the consequences of acne. Doing exfoliations can be useful for removing all this layer of dead cells. Actually, at the scientific level, there is still little clarity on whether these types of approaches are effectively useful because the studies do not determine with certainty that those who do this type of exfoliation have benefits. Therefore, we put an asterisk, especially because often these are the first things proposed in beauty centers. 
Without a doubt, what we can say is that it can be a good system to co-administer with the other systems that are effective in combating the bacterium. Therefore, if you first do an exfoliation where you remove the dead cells and then apply these other treatments to lower inflammation and reduce the effect of the bacterium, you will certainly have better results. Having finished the list of natural topical remedies for curing acne, let's now delve deeper and truly solve the problem at its root. Because today we know that acne is caused by a hormonal imbalance that then leads these sebaceous cells to secrete excess fat and oil and therefore to cause inflammation and bacterial proliferation. Why is there this hormonal imbalance? Certainly, puberty and some phases of life can be primary, but why do some people have a lot of acne during puberty and others less? The reason is precisely the diet or some activities that we will discuss now that alter or worsen the hormonal imbalance. Some gastroenterologists rightly state that what happens in your intestines is automatically reflected on your skin. When you have an intestine with problems, when you have an unbalanced diet, the first repercussion is precisely at the skin level. The reason, as I explained earlier, is that nutritional deficiencies and imbalances first affect the skin because the skin is the most distal organ and the least important organ. Therefore, it is the first to suffer from the deficiency. If you are suffering from it, for this reason, the main way to cure acne is through diet. And what diet in particular? A low glycemic index diet, because if we have to say what is a primary hormone that then triggers all the other hormones and therefore creates an imbalance, this hormone is insulin. When you have an unbalanced diet, that is, a high glycemic index diet, rich in pasta, bread, chocolates, brioches, snacks, candies, or any processed foods made with OO flour, what will happen is that your insulin will start to fluctuate enormously. Insulin is a hormone that then influences all the other hormones, including testosterone, which, especially during puberty, can lead to the consequences we mentioned earlier that result in acne. Changing your diet is the main thing if you want to cure your problem, and studies also show how a low glycemic index diet is extremely effective in reducing the effects of acne and curing it. A low glycemic index diet includes vegetables, fruits, whole grains, legumes, all healthy, natural substances that have a low impact, are rich in anti-inflammatories, antioxidants, and are good for you. If you are interested in learning more about the ideal diet, the anti-inflammatory diet, click here because I made a video where I explain step by step how to do it optimally. Speaking of diet and acne, dairy products are often cited as a possible cause, and in some studies, there has been a correlation between dairy consumption and increased acne. However, in much larger studies conducted on at least 20,000 people, it was found that there is no direct relationship, and this actually makes sense. On the one hand, because it is known that many other foods increase glycemia, increase blood sugar, and therefore can have an impact on the glycemic index which, as we said earlier, is essential for insulin control. On the other hand, dairy products are not the only cause because if you had a low glycemic index diet and occasionally ate some cheese, yogurt, or milk, nothing would happen. They are not the real cause, they are just another factor that can alter your glycemia, alter your hormones, and then lead you to excess acne. The 11th tip after diet is to reduce stress. Less stress, and this may seem trivial, may seem like it doesn't matter, but it gives us an idea of what the causes of acne are. Because in fact, studies clearly show a relationship between stress and increased acne. The reason, even in this case, is due to the hormonal variation that stress can bring. In fact, when a person is stressed, their immune system weakens, their defenses weaken, inflammation increases, they sleep less, and therefore the risk of bacterial infections increases. It's easy to say reduce stress, it's a bit more complicated to do it in practice. At a simple level, what you can do immediately is start sleeping more with deeper sleep. And if you don't know how to do it, if you don't know why you don't sleep deeply, click here because there is a video that explains 6 easy, effortless tips that you can apply to sleep a little more. The other practical thing is to start meditating. I am a true meditation enthusiast. It is essential for self-control and especially for controlling your thoughts and your mind. If you don't know what meditation is, you can watch the videos I made, or a very easy way is to start with yoga classes. It is a meditation in movement. They are gentle movements where the main focus is breathing, and in this case, you will also have benefits because it will increase your self-control. In addition, yoga has another benefit, 
It activates your muscular system and therefore makes you move. Movement is the last tip I give you, which is precisely exercise. Even in this case, exercise is essential because it goes to control and improve hormonal control, the hormonal peaks that you are now suffering from. Studies show how daily physical exercise can help in hormone regulation, reduces anxiety, reduces stress, and therefore has excellent potential in acting on acne as well. In conclusion, acne, skin disorders like pimples, can be the first symptom of a bigger problem you are suffering from, a problem that involves your diet, your hormonal regulation, and therefore also your general well-being. Curing acne effectively with natural remedies at home is possible, and these are the ones at the topical level. But you can cure it much more effectively through hormonal control, through diet, reducing stress, and physical exercise. Put these tips into practice, and you will see an enormous change in your acne and especially in your health. Give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, we'll see you tomorrow with another video, bye and thank you. What was your experience with the topic covered in this video? Tell us about it in the comments, we are curious to know. And if you have any doubts or questions, don't hold back. Leave a comment, even just a simple like would be perfect, but most importantly, subscribe to the channel to stay informed about upcoming releases.